In today's video, I'm going to tell you about my failed Tinder date here in China. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys the story of my failed Tinder date here in China. This thing happened a while ago, but at that time when it happened, I was actually really annoyed and angry and yeah, bummed up, bummed out about it. So I didn't want to share it before. Now, now it's fine. Now it's like whatever. Yeah. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. One day I was feeling bored here in China, so I downloaded the Tinder app on my phone again. I've used it before, but I always delete it because I get annoyed. It's like it usually doesn't work out like, I don't know. It's just I talk to a few guys and then it's too boring and then I delete it. So anyways, I downloaded it again and I got a match with a Chinese guy and he texted me immediately and we started talking a little bit and I checked his pictures on like his pictures one more time there on Tinder and I had I thought it was a little weird like one of his pictures there was like a girl besides him they seem to be very close so I asked him like who is that girl and he was like oh that's just my ex-girlfriend like we're not together anymore and I was like okay well I guess that's fine so we talked more and at that time I didn't have time to meet him because I was going to Shanghai for work and my parents also came to visit. So while I was there I talked to him every single day all the time. Like that's usually a good sign in, in China when if the Chinese guy he texts you all the time it means that he's very interested right. It's not like in Denmark where you have to pretend you're not interested and you have to play cool and then you don't text for four days and then you answer you know it's not like that here in China it's very much like we talk all the time and very fast it was almost like he was my boyfriend <laughs> like he would literally be like what are you doing now what are you eating remember to go to bed earlier and don't drink too much and I was the same with him because I adapt very fast you know so it was fun it was interesting we didn't call like video call or anything we're just texting so two I think like maybe one week later or two weeks later yeah one week later uh, my parents they left and then we decided to meet up so we met in a mall near my place and when I saw him I was like oh my god he is perfect he is a little taller than me and he is so freaking handsome I was really like whoa and he spoke fluent English he had been abroad for like I don't know five years or something I was just taken aback I was like whoa and then we started talking we had coffee at Starbucks and we went for dinner together and we were hanging out for like five hours I think and we went out for a walk and just walked and walked and walked and talked and walked more and walk and talk and talk. It was just so much fun. I was so happy. I was so excited. I was like, is this real? Like, can Tinder really help me find a perfect boyfriend? This is, it was unreal. Like, it really felt like that. So, yeah. But anyways, the next day I had to go back to Denmark because of summer vacation. So I had to leave him again and I was like, oh, I'm really sorry, I really want to see you again and I hope we can keep in contact until I come back. I had to be in Denmark for three weeks. So I went back and we kept texting and talking all the time, texting, 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 talking, 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 seriously, 24 hours a day. Until, until, until one day, one morning, I looked at my phone and my WeChat and I could see that I'd gotten a friend request from a girl. And I was like, I don't know who this person is. But when I looked at her profile before accepting, I could see her profile picture was of herself and the guy I wanted to be, my boyfriend. And I thought, Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? This is so awkward. What the heck? So, you know, I'm not a dumb person. I, I'm i like, okay, yeah. I almost didn't even have to like talk to her. But anyways, I accepted her request and she was like, hi. And I said, so you're that, that guy's uh, girlfriend? And she was like, yeah, you know, he's done this before. 
Um, so I just want to say that we're still together and you shouldn't see him again. And she was like, I also would like to know what you guys did together. And I was like, well, you know, he has kind of pretended he was my boyfriend for the last three weeks. And I've seen him once, but nothing happened. And she was like, oh, okay, thank you, I'm sorry. And I was like, well, I'm sorry for you, girl. <laughs> like, you're the one who is stuck with a guy who has been doing this before. Like, he put up a Tinder profile and he even used well, it was just, he used the same pictures on his Tinder profile as on his Facebook because I I chose not to stalk him because I was like, I saw a few of his pictures on WeChat and of course there was this one girl, but he said, oh, it's a, an ex-girlfriend, like they had gone to Mexico together a few months prior to that because they had bought the tickets like long time in, in advance. So I was like, yeah, if you buy tickets, from China to Mexico, then you don't want to cancel just because you break up. So that makes sense, right? Um, but apart from that, there was nothing really like weird about anything. As I said, he was literally like talking to me all the time. So I was like, whoa, is she really dumb? Or maybe she was not in the in Beijing when I was talking to him the last three weeks. Maybe she just came back. I don't know. But yeah, anyways, so I went in very fast to stalk him on Facebook and like one click, I found his profile. It said in a relationship with this girl who had found me on WeChat and I was so embarrassed. I was so freaking embarrassed, guys. I was like, oh my God, how can you be this stupid? Like you have to forever stalk everyone you're, you're getting together with now because this is awful. And the guy, he was such a yeah I don't even want to talk like that on camera but it really still makes me kind of annoyed because he ah uh, it was yeah like the pictures he put on WeChat as well it was like taken of him and a dog and then she had the pictures of her and the dog and him and I was like oh my god like he has been sharing pictures and hanging out with her while we were seeing well seeing each other I was like how can people even do that you know I just, I was angry with him, but I was even more angry with her for just accepting it. Like, especially because she said that he has done it before. I was like, oh my god, girl, you need to be nicer to yourself, respect yourself more and get out of that stuff, you know? It's, it's horrible. Yeah, so <clears throat> anyways, he had already blocked me, so I couldn't say anything to him, which was the worst part because I really felt like just, you know, throwing shit at him <laughs> but um, but yeah I didn't a few days later I wrote a message to him on Facebook just telling him what a dickhead he was but that was kind of it so I just had to get my anger out of the way you know so I could move on but yeah that was my failed tinder date here in China well it was actually a really successful date but he just turned out to be a bastard, so maybe I'm fine, I guess. Nothing to do about it. Yeah, <laughs> that was all for this video. <laughs> that was all for this video, guys. I hope that you kind of enjoyed it, you know. Just be careful if you're playing around with Tinder. And here in China, it's like, if it's too good to be true, it's probably too good to be true, you know. So just make sure that the guy is single. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah I don't know what I could have done to prevent this from happening but he was good at hiding uh, well I should have stalked him on Facebook because that was obviously not so super well done but anyways the problem now is that I'm really nervous about bumping into her or into him and her together somewhere in Beijing like you guys probably thinking Beijing is, is huge but the thing is there are also he's on the eastern eastern side like me and the expert community is quite small so you know if I I start to I've tried to like go to more events and stuff so anyways yeah I just really hope that it's not gonna happen <laughs> so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for listening and also if you have had any really crazy tinder experiences then let me know in the comments below you know so we can talk and laugh about it together because maybe I find that's just life yeah so have a nice day, evening wherever you are in the world and also remember to give me a, a thumbs up and subscribe and check out my Instagram and Facebook and Patreon Lena around and I'll see you very very soon again Ling Ling is that see ya and 再见 bye bye